NASA works to help promote STEM ed education to students by giving them a hands-on experience with what an engineering career would have to offer. Oklahoma's Horizons' Keila Kellen reports. Students from all over gather at Great Plains Technology Center, eager to learn more about Space Day. Come on in. Erica Lamberth is a multimedia director for NASA. So this is the Driven to Explore a trailer. It brings to uh, light a lot of the things that we're doing with the International Space Station program and some of the future uh, plans that we have for exploring space in the future, some of our programs like Orion and things like that. This is the technology you're familiar with, the heavy launch. So the International Space Station has been uh, orbiting the Earth for over 12 years now, a little bit over 12 years. So a lot of the students don't realize that we've had men and women living and working in space for that long. And so here in the trailer, we're trying to share with them a little bit about what it's like to live and work in space. We have a window view that gives them an idea of what the Earth looks like to the astronauts on board the space station. We talk about the science of the human body, how we have to learn how our bodies can withstand living in space for longer periods of time. And of course, we have something really cool, which is a moon rock that's over three billion years old that we brought back from our last mission to the moon on Apollo 17. So NASA is very much alive and looking to explore space in the future and keeping students interested in science, math, engineering, and technology. Typically, Astronaut, Astronaut Mike Foreman travels the country encouraging the students as young like as grade school to take an interest in STEM. As an astronaut, it's easy to promote STEM because I go around the country, I talk to students and I say, I'm an engineer and I'm an astronaut. Now, don't you want to be an engineer? And, and a lot of students are, 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 they perk up and they say, wow, maybe engineering would be a cool career because here's a guy that has a pretty neat job, he's an engineer. And I think a lot of people consider that as a career field because they've heard me talk about being an engineer and what I get to do. An informative and fun way of giving students an idea of what an engineering career has to offer. Well, in this country, you know, we're, leave, we're losing our technology edge, I think, to other countries around the world because we don't have as many students as we once did studying science, technology, engineering, and math. And we just need to keep promoting that to students so that we can gain that edge back and, and be a leader in the world in, in technology and engineering. So that's, that's the reason we go around and selfishly from NASA, you know, we're worried about replacing our aging engineers and scientists and we want to make sure that we have a, a good population of students to choose from when we're hiring new people to replace old guys like me. That's why astronaut Foreman, along with Lieutenant General Bruce Litchfield, took part in a panel to discuss the future of STEM education. Well, if I look at what our nation's done over the last hundred years in terms of how technology has grown and look to the next 10 to 20 years, I think we're going to double what we've done in the last hundred years. And so we got to make sure that our folks that are coming up through the school systems and are going to be part of that technological revolution, have the right training, have the right skill sets to make us able to compete not only locally but internationally in terms of being the most productive nation on this planet. What this does is start planting the seeds young and early so that the folks aren't afraid of what technology is out there and can be part of it, not a spectator in what the growth is going to be over the next 10 to 20 years. Really, we've seen change and we've seen it very rapidly. Congressman Tom Cole says our nation is headed in the right direction, but we need to do more to stay a world leader in technology. Whoever masters science and math is going to master the future. It really is that simple and that profound at the same time. And we know that, uh, frankly, we've not been achieving as a country at the same level historically that we used to. Uh, this is the kind of program that has begun to turn those things around pretty dramatically and uh, uh, you know, shown quick results. And it's, it's really encouraging to see uh, how receptive students and educators have been and how they've put the tools that have been given to them uh, by corporate sponsors to really exceptional youth. And we can do that here. We can do that at a lot of other schools across the state and across the country. Working to pave the way to a smarter future.